Hey, Conan O'Brien here, and I'm at Chick Elm's Grand Entry and Rodeo Shop. And this is Chick Elm's. Yes, Good sir. Good to see you, Chick. Good to see you, sir. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing very well. Where'd I'm you good. get the name Chick? Oh, uh, I don't know. That you was don't just know. a nickname. That's quite a tall <laughs> tale you just told, me, Chick. That's yeah. quite a yarn. What's your real name? Can't tell it. Really? <laughs> is it it's... sillier than Conan? Probably. Really? It's, uh, Cheryl. Can I, what? Cheryl. Cheryl? Mm-hmm. Your parents named you Cheryl? Yep. So you decided, I'm going to change the name Cheryl to something much more manly and you went with Chick. I want to see my mother did that. We gotta talk about your mom. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever come across someone who just doesn't look good in Western clothes? How or does it, it always I, work? It just always works. I got a challenge for you. I brought a friend of mine. He's from New York City. Don't get mad, but he's from New York. Some people have to be from there. Mm -hmm. And he's what we call a metrosexual. You know what that is? I'm doing it. Okay. So take it easy. <laughs> it's not what you think. It's not someone who has sex with trains. But he's a creep. His name is Jordan Schlansky. Chick, this is Jordan Schlansky. We have brought you here to this town about 60 miles southwest of Fort Worth to dress you up and make you a real cowboy, a real man. Because frankly, I've worked with you for a while and you have a bit of an effete, I'm gonna say European style that some of us who are true Americans find offensive. Furthermore, Italian is a beautiful language, and I don't see the problem with having Italian instructions on the machine. Uh, that is some uh, Criminelli salami with some uh, coffee rubbed cheese on top on a baguette. This is a free biscotti? Yes, biscotto. Pardon me? It's a biscotto. Biscotti? That would be if there was more than one. There's only one. <laughs> How would you feel about getting dressed up in cowboy wear. I'm fine with it. Okay. Be glad to fix you up. Thank you, Chick. <laughs> you guys have an amazing chemistry. Chick, <laughs> so let's start with the boots. Some good cowboy boots. Okay. Um, I'm noticing you've got a fine selection here. I like these for Jordan. Yeah. What do you I think? I think that's uh, got too much pink in it. You don't think pink? What do you think, Jordan? Be I honest. think pink seems a little bit effeminate. Really? You think it's effeminate. Why don't you tell Chick about your grooming regimen? Well, I uh, wake up, I have cappuccino and a savory pastry. Uh, twice a week I shave, remove excess hair. Do you shave exclusively your face? I shave other areas. What other areas do you shave, Jordan? Various areas. And other regions? That's a personal matter. Jake? What do you think about a man that shaves his body? Gosh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm with you, chick. I'm with you. Look at that. That's got a Native American flair. Well, most cowboy boots were influenced by Native American designs, even the uh, Spanish vaquero designs. Uh, so much so that the term buckaroo used to describe the cowboys of the Great Basin, a little further west of here. Um, uh, comes from the word vaquero. Are you narrating a documentary <laughs> on boots? Would you be open to having playing cards on your boots? Be honest. Well, the great thing about cowboy boots is it's always a little left to the imagination because this area is covered up by jeans. So yes, I would be open to that. Well, not always. My guess is you'll be wearing these also occasionally with just a European Speedo bathing suit. <laughs> That is the kind of bathing suit you prefer, is it not? I like four-inch inseam. <laughs> this is what I decided. Jordan, do you have any thoughts about this outfit? This isn't what I had in mind. In what way? It's all authentic Western gear. Uh, I think it fits you suitably. What is the problem? There's a lot of excess bulk. Where? Everywhere. The legs are tubular. Oh, not here. <laughs> um, the... Not 
I'm good, Jake. Yeah, I'm good. This is fantastic. Look at this. Jake, I love this belt. This is a fantastic belt. Mm -hmm. It's got a little little color to it, some cowhide with the hair on. Look at that, that's actual cow hair that's in there. Jordan, one tip, don't shave this hair. <laughs> Make me sick. I'd throw up under your shirt, but it looks like someone already has. <laughs> Let's try a hat. Okay, a little small there. Do you think it's a little small? What about this, and we keep the bag on? <laughs> this way, he's protected. If your coffee, when you're making it with your little Italian machine, and if I tire of listening to you, I can close this off. <laughs> and in a minute, you're dead. What do you think? This feels like a good fit. Is there a way we could steam it so this comes down and I don't see his face? Yeah, we can get it down a little bit. Well, I'd like it down a lot. A lot. You excited about your new cowboy hat? You know, it's interesting because it's a misconception that the cowboy hat was the hat of the West. Traditionally speaking, it was an impractical design because it would easily blow off some of the West. Cowboy oh, hat, as we know it, didn't come into prominence until after the Civil War, due in large part to uh, John Stetson, who uh, was from New Jersey. And it's probably from the Spanish tan galan, which basically means very gallant, which is uh, a description of the hat as it appeared at the time to those who were uninitiated. Yes. This is perfect. That's perfect. How do you feel, Jordan? I can't see anything. I know, Jordan. Thank you very much, Chick. You're a great man. You're welcome. Yeah, Thank you. real honor to meet you. And Jordan, if you could find your way home, a hotel's about 85 miles from here on foot. You should get started because it gets dark early. Okay? Don't take the hat off. He'll be dead in an hour. <laughs> Give it up for Jordan Slatsky. He's a good sport. Sorry. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> He's really like that. <laughs> I'm looking around Dallas for a biscotti. Uh... <laughs>